worship my God, oh, my God, you are from Amen, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. Because we are here thanking God. God will also increase you more and more in the name of Jesus. Please let's open our Bibles to call ourselves to worship from Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Make sure your Bible is open and as we read together because there's power in reading. As you read, God will make you to be announced in the name of Jesus. If you are in Joel chapter 2, we will start the reading from verse 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Verse 22 together. Be glad then, 
ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you the former rain moderately, moderately and will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the, ca the karma worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Shall we read verse 27 together? And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our heart in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. Shout, 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 hallelujah. On this covenant day of marital breakthrough, it's time for intercession. We shall be praying this morning when we rise. We shall be saying, Father, let the Holy Ghost continue to direct all our new converts and new members to this church as their city of refuge, thereby abiding here for life. Read quickly from 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel 7 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of the wickedness afflict them anymore as before time. Let's be on our feet at this hour and put into our seat at this place on the spring. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let him hear your voice of intercession. Begin to tell the Holy Ghost. To direct all our newcomers and new members of this church at their city of refuge, the Amber, about the year for life. Jesus speaking, he said, No man can come unto me except the Father grows him. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let him hear your voice. Father, let the Holy Ghost continue to direct. All our new converts and new members to this church as their city of refuge, thereby abiding here for life. Further, let the Holy Ghost continue to direct all our new converts and new members to this church as their city of refuge, thereby abiding here for life. Lord, as you bring them here, let them abide. Let them be planted. Let them take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. Father, let the Holy Ghost continue to direct all our new converts and new members to this church as their city of refuge, thereby abiding LSE Jai for life. Are you calling on the Lord? Let the Lord hear your voice. Call upon his name. Father, let the Holy Ghost continue. To direct all our new converts and new members to this church as their city of refuge, thereby abiding here for life. As we bring them here, Lord, let them be planted. Let them take root downwards and let them bear fruit upwards. Begin to give me thanks and praise because the Father has heard. Father, we give you thanks and praise because we enable the Holy Ghost to bring in new converts here yeah, and new members. And as they come here, they shall abide. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Somebody clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Take your seat. 
If those hands are for Jesus, let's make it bigger and better. Hallelujah. Praise our Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. In this end of the month, Thanksgiving dedication service, which also doubles as our covenant of marital breakthrough, it's time for our end of month Thanksgiving. You are thanking God for something. Maybe this month is a birthday month, promotion month, whatever. The Lord has been good to us. There's no doubt about it. You and I have been going and have been coming. No issue, no challenge. God deserves to be thanked consciously. Why? God is risen for all the positive outcomes in our outing. Praise the name of Jesus. Psalm 84, verse 11. For the Lord God is a son, is a shield. He will give grace, he will give glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk up early. That has been our testimony. You want to rise up now and dance consciously and intentionally to the altar. Choir. The things that are impossible, the things that money cannot buy, they are the things that you have done for my soul. The mini potent God, supernatural God, you have done it again and again. I say the things that are impossible, the things that money cannot buy, they are the things that you have done for my soul. The supernatural God, undefeatable God, you have done it again and again. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, marvelous God, he has done marvelous things, he's the marvelous things. He's yet to do marvelous things. We say, What a marvelous God. Shout hallelujah. Life is a gift from God. And living is a privilege. 
In Psalm 150, verse 6, the Bible says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. The gift of life is worth celebrating God for. That we saw the fourth Sunday in this month of June, and today is the last Sunday, and we are still alive and well. Are you not happy that you are alive? <laughs> Lift up your hands to God and give Him thanks. Thank Him for the gift of life. Thank Him for the gift of life. We slept and we woke. The Lord sustained us. Also, thank God for everything God has done for you this month. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgave all my iniquities and hid all my diseases? Who redeemed my soul from destruction? Who can me with loving kindness and tender mercies? Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life for provisions, for the supernatural growth of your jolly faithful Jahi, for the diverse favors and blessings we have been enjoying since the beginning of the month. Thank you for the gift of life. Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. Father, this morning we have come as individuals, as families, and as a church to celebrate your faithfulness and appreciate you for keeping us alive. Saying the last Sunday in the month of June, 2023. It is a great miracle. It is a great blessing. What a mercy from you. We are not taking anything for granted. We are grateful that you have kept us alive. Be thou glorified. And for all that you made happen in our midst, in our lives, in our families, and this church, all through the month, to you alone be all the glory. See the way you are growing your church, advancing your church, and glorifying your children. Lord, be glorified. Be honored forever. Lord, this morning we have brought our offerings, lift up your thanksgiving offerings. We cannot pay for what you have done for us. But as a token of appreciation, we have brought our offerings unto you. Receive our offerings from us. Terminate sufferings in all areas of our lives. And for all our blessings, preserve for us. Multiply for us. Perfect for us. And let the glory be yours. Once again, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you out there, whatever you have come out to thank God for, you will never lose it. It shall never be corrupted. It shall never be taken away from you. You will enjoy it forever. All of you that marked your birthday in the course of the month of June, or you are still marking it, you will live long. You will see your children, children. You will return again next year. It shall be well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now let's sing for the birthday celebrants. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Dance back to our seats. In our midst this morning, we are honored and privileged to have one of us, whom God has just promoted as the new chief of Nava staff. <laughs> Amen. So this morning, we are inviting Rear Admiral Imane Ikechuku Ogala and the family to come over here. Why is your wife? Wife and children follow him. Come over here. Is the new chief of air staff is one of us here. Member of Lufay George Jahi for life. Hallelujah. Chief of Nava staff of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. Come with your family members. Let's clap. Let's keep on clapping for the Lord. It's a big family. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Okay, praise the Lord. Now, I want us to commit Amy to the hand of God. It's an enormous assignment, and God has been so faithful to us. The outgoing chief of air staff is a member of this church. Amen. Let's see your face. <laughs> Refired chief of air staff. Refired. Let's see your face. Where is Mama? Come over. Let's see them. Let's see Mama here. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Amen. Let's see Mama. Please allow Mama to come. Okay. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Now, 
Ea masha Isiaka Amao Olabayo. The out gone. <laughs> Chief of air staff. Now, God used this great man of God tremendously for our nation, Nigeria. And uh, we are very proud of you, sir. You went, you saw, you conquered. And you returned with joy. We are happy for you, sir. We are happy for you. Mama, we are happy for you. Now, we've, we have a lot of testimonies of God's faithfulness displayed in his life, in his career, all through his service years. And today, he's strong, healthy, vibrant, and uh, ready to take up my assignment. Now, let's start from here. You have, you have not done Thanksgiving. You have not done Thanksgiving. And this one, just uh, let them know. <laughs> Praise God. Let's first of all thank God for him, for what God has accomplished in this nation through him. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your son, the wife, the family. Thank you for helping throughout his tenure as the chief of air staff for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you for watching over him. Thank you for preserving him. Thank you for energizing him. Thank you for favoring him. Thank you for granting wisdom and grace to be able to do his assignment successfully, productively, gloriously. To you alone be all the glory. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are waiting for more grace, more strength, more wisdom, more power, more blessing, more breakthrough, more enlargement, more favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now to our new chief of Namastar. Do you like this church? Okay. Now, let's go on your knees, sir. Mama, where is Mama? Where are the children? Okay. Okay, God bless you. Please, let's just stretch hand towards this precious family and pray for them. And pray for them. And pray for them. Please, chief of Easter, please come. Ask the same God that help you to help him. Please come. Where is Mama? Don't go yet. That the same God that help you to help them too. Let me put your hand there. Amen. That the same God that help you will help them. The same God that help you will help them. The same God that help you will help them. The same God that help you will help them. The same God help you will help them. The same God of Bishop David Olanyo Edebo that helped you will help them too. It will help them too. It will help them too. Lord, you help your son, the outgoing chief of air staff. Lord, help this your son too. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, today with joy, we have come to thank you for the promotion you have granted unto your son, Rear Admiral Imaleke Chuku Ogala, the Chief of Naval Staff for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We receive this promotion with joy and give you all the glory. For promotion does not come from the East, not from the West, not from the South, but from the Almighty God, God of Heaven, who brings wonder and lifts up another person. You have lifted up your son, and we say thank you, Father. Lord, this new assignment you have committed to his hand, Father, stand with him. Amen. Stand for him. Amen. Stand by him. Amen. Fill him with your wisdom, Amen. supernatural intelligence, Amen. sound mind, Amen. divine guidance, Amen. divine direction, Amen. spiritual sensitivity, Amen. divine help, Amen. divine backing. Amen. Let every assignment placed in his hand prosper. Amen. Let him grow great. Amen. Let him grow mighty. Amen. In his career, let him do well. Amen. Let him not make any mistakes. Amen. Let him not commit any errors. Amen. Let him remain highly favored, Amen. highly honored, Amen. highly distinguished. Amen. Lord God of heaven, you are the lifter and the glory of our health. And your gifts and your color of their repentance. This you have done, we know is permanent. Amen. So, Lord God of heaven, let your watchful eyes continue to beam upon your son, Amen. upon the wife, Amen. upon the children. Amen. Going out, come in, preserve them, Amen. secure them, Amen. keep them safe. Lord, wherever your son stands to speak, let him speak with the tongue of the land. Amen. God of our Father, Bishop David, the same way things work in this commission. No failure, no setback. Let the same unction of the Holy Ghost upon this commission rest upon your son. Amen. Rest upon your son. Amen. Rest upon your son Amen. for productivity, Amen. for relevance, Amen. for advancement, Amen. for breakthrough, Amen. for performance, Amen. for performance, Amen. good performance. Excellent performance in all these assignments. Lord, help him marvelously and take all the glory. Today, you are anointed today as the new chief of naval staff of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to do well. To do well. To do well. To do well. To be strong. To be healthy. To be preserved. To be blessed. Mama.
stand by your husband. You will do well together. You shall be peace out together. Children, all the children in the family, be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Go by the auction vibration. Do well. Everything that makes things to work in this commission, receive now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. You are released now. Serve our nation, Nigeria. Serve humanity. I return well. Complete with your family. Alive and well. And healthy. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Congratulations. 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 Mama, congratulations. 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 Friends, family, God bless you. More grace, more favor, more testimony in your family. It shall be well with you. God bless you. Congratulations again. God bless you. Amen. Give God a shout. Okay, let's dance back to our seats. God bless you all. God bless you. Lord, I'm finally on the Covenant Highway of Life. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. This end of month Thanksgiving dedication service and Covenant Day of Marital Breakthrough service, it is announcement time. Those hands are for Jesus, they can be louder. Welcome to our Covenant Day of Marital Breakthroughs and end of month Thanksgiving and dedication service. In this service, every marital crisis or delay and everlasting mountain on the path of anyone's marital breakthrough shall be scattered in Jesus' name. Please say loud, amen. amen. Number one, praise the Lord. Be reminded that we are in the midst of the year prophetic season. We are admonished to engage in daily prayer and gospel raise throughout this season. And remember, there is a place for everyone in a revival. And your place shall not be taken away in this revival season in Jesus' name. Number two, covenant our prayer continues resumes tomorrow monday through saturday and the time is 6 a.m daily number three bfc the believers foundation class and membership class holds every monday at the wolf b complex by 5 p.m this is for the benefit of all new converts and first timers members who brought new members and first timers should encourage them to participate in the class number four kingdom advancement prayer squad holds every tuesday at the youth chapel and the time is 5 p.m all members of the squad are expected to be in attendance and new members are always welcome. Number five, the online sale of admission forms into Faith Academy Network for JSS supplementary admission as well as JSS transfer admission is still ongoing. Interested applicants are encouraged to purchase forms via the EC's official website, which is on the screen. Sale of forms will end on set Sunday, 2nd of July, 2023. Please note that the scheduled examination date for the two classes, that is JSS 1, and GSS2 is Saturday, the 15th of July, 2023. Number six, midweek communion service. Our midweek communion service holds on Wednesday, 28th of June, 2023. Remember, we shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast to break with the communion during the service. And the time for that service is 5 p.m. Number seven, ordained workers meeting. The Dickens Assembly holds our June edition of ordained workers meeting immediately after the third service, the Wolf B Mega Complex Hall. All ordained workers are expected to be in attendance. Number eight, JBS announcement. Registration for the Junior Bible School 2023 has commenced. All members, parents, and guardians are admonished to enroll their children and wards for life transforming encounters and impartations. It is scheduled to hold between Monday the 14th and Friday the 25th of August 2023. Number nine, marriage seminar. The July edition of our marriage seminar holds on Friday 28th of July, 2023, at the House of Church, and the time is 5 p.m. This is mandatory for all intending couples desiring to get wedded this year. God bless you as you come. Number 10, covenant naming. The following families have been blessed with babies. 
If you are clapping, please make it louder for Jesus. Mr. and Mrs. Michael Oji, baby girl. Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Diala, baby boy. Please check the notice board for details of their covenant naming. Number 11, wedding announcement. Praise the Lord. Two intending couples wed next Saturday, the 1st of July, 2023, here at Living Faith Church, Jahi. They are Sister Stella Young and Brother Michael Udo. And Sister Ochoido and Brother Muna Chiso Michael. We are admonished to stand in the gap with them in prayers and share in their joy. Number 12, tithes and offerings. You can pay your tithes, offerings, shiloh sacrifices, and other kingdom commitments through the POS at the testimony stand on service days or through our church account detail. Living Faith Church, Jahi is the account name. The account number is 101215 The bank is Zenith Bank. Note, however, the POS is neither for cash withdrawal nor for transfer. Number 13, transfer support scheme. Opportunity abounds for those who want to sow seed to assist brethren who may have the challenge of transporting themselves to and from church from all our catchment areas. Please use the following account details, Living Faith Church, Jahi. The account number is 0106458229 and the bank is GT Bank. The Lord bless you richly for your seed sown. Number 14, Winner Satellite Fellowship holds every Saturday at our various cell centers and the time for that meeting is 5 p.m. Please locate the nearest one to your residence and ensure you attend. Number 15, recommended books of the month authored by Bishop David O. Oedepo includes Fanning Revival Fire, The Wisdom That Works, Walking in Wisdom, Conquering Controlling Powers, Walking in the Newness of Life, and All You Need to Have All Your Needs Met. Number 16, good, good, good news. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Next Sunday, the 2nd of July, 2023, shall be our encounter with Destiny Service. You are glad to hear that big hand for Jesus. Shall also double as our prophetic entrance service. Every everlasting mountain and perpetual hill on the path of everyone's glorious destiny shall be removed like a dream of the night. Please come expecting an encounter with the prophetic word as it shall be a service to be much remembered. Service schedule is 6.45 a.m. for the first service, 8.45 a.m. for the second service, and 10.45 a.m. for the third service. Jesus is Lord. Please put your hands together for Jesus. Praise God. If it's testimony time, let's put some people together for Jesus. As we welcome the following fucking lady, Samson. Samson fucking lady, David in here, in here, David. Put us and believe together for Jesus. The righteousness and the testimony of Jesus Christ is everlasting. The psalmist says, Give me understanding and I shall live. May the Lord give us understanding from these testimonies in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for my life and the life of my family. I'm privileged to serve in the choir. Praise the Lord. I've come to thank God for changing my status. Um, around April, our covenant day of settlement, um, our daddy in the house told us to write what we don't, what the things that we want to stop. Praise the Lord. And I've been pursuing a professional course for years. Praise the Lord. And again, during March, he repeated again, you can pass that professional exam. Praise the Lord. He mentioned my case. Again, this month, he said, my story will change in this season of revival. Praise the Lord. I've come to thank God for confirming the word of his servant. Um, I passed my ICANN exam. Praise the Lord. I'm now a chartered accountant. Hallelujah. Make it louder for Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Well, I want to thank God for his faithfulness. God has been very faithful to my family. Um, just on um, Thursday, and my family went to see Daddy because we had some issues of concern that I wanted to talk to him about, and we spoke to him about them. And to the glory of God, my wife was to travel on Friday. Funny enough, she was supposed to travel on Thursday, but I told her, let's just see Daddy before you travel. So we, we went to see Daddy on Thursday. So she didn't travel on Thursday again. She, tried, she, was, she was to not travel on Friday. So on Thursday, we just went to see Daddy, and we 
told Daddy about the things that were of concern to us, and just told Daddy my wife would be traveling, but that was not the main purpose of us going there, but she'll be traveling on, um, Friday, on Friday. Just pray for us. So he prayed, and he prayed for us. To the glory of God, that Thursday, my wife was favored that that trip that she was supposed to embark on, she was personally favored that she was supposed to go for a job screening. She was personally favored that she didn't have to go for that job screening again because that would have cost us a lot of money. It was not even financially convenient for us to embark on that journey. But to the favor, God favors, after we left daddy's office, that same night, a favor came that, oh, she didn't have to go again. It was not convenient. And for her and the baby, it was still not convenient for her to embark on that journey. As if that was not enough, on Saturday, about the issue of concern that we also went to talk to Daddy about financially, breakthroughs started coming in, and other issues of concern we also talked to Daddy about. That same, so that from that, from that, since that they went to see that, it has been from one level of breakthroughs to another. I want to give glory to God for it all. I want to say, if somebody put it, doesn't be together for Jesus. Shall we just lose those hands to heaven? Let's give God thanks. He's a good God. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Praise God. Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. It is my privilege, as given by the servant of God, Pastor David Popola, to welcome some very special people into God's presence in this service. If today is the first time you are worshiping with us in Living Faith Church, Jahi, on a Sunday morning like this, not any other, you may have come on Wednesday or any other day, but on a Sunday morning like this, may I request that you please stand in God's presence. Church, give Jesus a big hand of praise as these precious people rise. Winners around them, welcome them with joy the winner's way. Please be on your feet. Please remain standing. Our official will put into your hands a welcome package. And along with it, there is a form that you will fill your details, particularly your prayer request. And as you do so, the God of this commission will bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Please, winners around them can help them to fill the forms in the course of the service. I want to specially welcome you on behalf of Jesus Christ, the head of the church, and his servant, Pastor David Gokola, God's servant will call you out before the end of this service to bless you. What is unique about this church? This church is ordained by God as a mountain of divine intervention where every issue that has defined solution can be supernaturally perfected. Our turnaround God has been at work in this commission for over four decades. Surprising members of this church with unimaginable testimonies as they believe. Since God is not a respecter of persons, except expect a turn around God to visit you also upon this mountain as you also believe. May today be your entry into the realms of divine intervention that will result in the delivery of your long-awaited testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Therefore, to all our first timers and worshipers, we say to you this morning, welcome to the winner's family and welcome home. Jesus is Lord. Please take your seat and enjoy the service. Praise the Lord. I am finally on my covenant highways of life. Congratulations. On this our covenant day of marital breakthrough, stroke end of month, Thanksgiving service, it is offering time. Offering time. Please package a qualitative seat for the Lord. Your tithe, your worship offerings your transport stroke project seeds, your Shiloh sacrificial offering, if you have not yet redeemed it, and any other covenant obligation you may have made before the Lord. For our online worshipers, 
to those who want to make electronic transfers to check payments. Please avail yourselves with the information on the screen. Ensure your offerings are well labored. Please, for tithes and offerings, the Zenith Bank, use the Zenith Bank account. And for your transport seat, the GT account. If you have finished packaging your offer, if you need an envelope, please indicate. If you want the tight bootleg, also indicate. If you have finished packaging your offerings, please rise to your feet. Rise to your feet now and lift them up to God and appreciate Him for this privilege to be standing in his presence on this last Sunday of the month of June with substance in your hand. The Bible says we should give and it shall be given unto us. Good measures. I see good measures coming for you in the name of Jesus. Lift them up now as I pray. Father, we want to thank you for this privilege to stand in your presence with offerings, seed, quality seeds in our hand. Lord, let this obedience of faith be acceptable in your sight in the name of Jesus Christ. In this, our month of glory, Lord, let the finances of your people enter into unprecedented realms of glory in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for doing it. Accept our thanks and praise in Jesus' precious name. Please sit down, cast your offer, offerings joyfully as I invite the choir to minister. Somebody give Jesus a shout in this place. Hallelujah. Somebody grateful to God. Give him a shout. Hallelujah. 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 I go, I go in a chamber. You're the beauty of my life. There is no one else like you. Oh. And I go, I go in a chamber. You're the beauty of my life. There is no one else like you. And I go, I go in a chamber one. You're the beauty of my life. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody celebrate God in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Around. You gave me victory. You say, Yes, you are. From the lifter of my head, the wind beneath my wings. Yes, you are. i 
a big gun of praise. Make it louder for Jesus. If you want to shout, shout, hallelujah. God will fight your battles for you. God of heaven will fight all your battles for you. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, the Bible says, Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible now says, Ye are of God, little children, and you have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Every child of God is an overcomer. So it doesn't matter what manner of battles, trials, tribulations, tests, temptations, you may find yourself. Please don't forget. You are not fighting for victory. You are fighting from victory because you're already an overcomer. <laughs> Amen. So on this mountain today, every you of concern in your lives shall be subdued before you. And before the end of this midst of the year 2023, you also shall experience the manifestation of God's glory. Amen. Even today, whatever needs to be turned around in your own life, in your own family, as the word of God comes now, there shall be supernatural turn around. At your descent from this mountain, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a new you will emerge. Amen. Your status will have changed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every act of God is perpetrated and perpetuated. Also sustained and maintained by God's word. God opposes all things by the word of, of his power. Hebrews 1 verse 3b. In Acts chapter 20, verse 32, he said, Beloved, I commend you to God to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you your inheritance among the that are sanctified. So everything that makes for life and godliness is embedded in God's word. It's 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 in God's word. And as God's word comes your way this hour, Whatever we make for the manifestation of his glory in your own life shall be delivered unto you. Just a word from God can create a new world for you. So after today's encounter, a new you will emerge. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, send me my own word. There is a word meant for me today. In this service, Lord, send me my own word. There is a word meant for me in this service. Let us shall count a la bros of the aglato se gay baba. Oh, get lemon se gala, zodoye, or count on tantanta la ba. There is a war for me in this service. Send me my own word. Send me my own word. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prayed. Holy Spirit, we are all waiting on you for help. Send us your word with good understanding. And let the power embedded in your word manifest in our lives. We promise to give you the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Give God a big hand. Our play be seated. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of God's servant, the apostle over this commission of liberation, our father, Bishop David Olani Oedipo, I hereby welcome every one of you to live a Jahi, both on site and online, today is Sunday, 25th day of June, 2023.
you are all welcome to your father's house and our father's house in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. With us also this morning, we have the Vice Chancellor of Landmark University, Amen. Professor Charity Aremu. You are welcome to our means. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We have every reason to give thanks to God for his mighty acts in that our great university, take it after Covenant University. We thank God for uh, the impact of the institution in our nation, Nigeria, especially in the agricultural sector and other areas. I want to thank God for our Father Bishop David Oedipo, whom God has given the mandate, the vision, who has never gone slack. He's always on duty all the time. And we pray that that institution shall keep on waxing stronger and stronger, and greater leaders shall be raised from that institution in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, all of you are welcome to church in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, our running topic for the month, which we are concluding with today, is understanding the blessedness of a revival. Understanding the blessedness of a revival, gaining access to the import, the importance, the dividends, the returns of a revival. In this kingdom, the place of understanding cannot be overemphasized when it comes to seeing things the way God sees them and actualizing our destiny according to the dictates of God's word. In Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16, the Bible says, A man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So understanding makes for living. No wonder King David Jesus said, Lord, give me understanding and I shall live. There are so many walking corpses all over town today because of their denial of access, denial of access, inability to assess understanding. In this kingdom, understanding is all about being able to see what God is saying. And the Bible says in Job chapter 32 verse 8 that there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. So it is the Holy Spirit breathing upon our spirit man that makes for inspiration in the course of meditation. You hear God's word, you meditate on God's word, and the Holy Ghost comes to tell you, this is your own portion of this general revelation. That is general revelation, that is special, spectacular, notable, special revelation, personal revelation. When you get to the point of, hmm, aha, eureka, I found it. So it is, that is revelation. Saying God from God's perspective. And the potency of understanding cannot be underestimated in this kingdom because it is your level of understanding that determines the growth of faith in your heart. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, the Bible says, For faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. In another way, we can say, Faith cometh by hearing and understanding the word of God. Because no one can believe what he doesn't understand. The utopia Enoch was a good uh, intellectual uh, entity or personality. He had knowledge, he had uh, good knowledge of God's word, but he lacked understanding until uh, Philip came to help him out of that uh, his predicament. And as soon as understanding came upon him, he asked, can anything stop me from getting baptized? What? So his orientation, his mentality changed. Ignorance was damaged. The undue of so many people's destinies in this kingdom is lack of adequate understanding. Not peripheral understanding, but deep understanding of God's way. And in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 15, the Bible says, uh, good understanding. So that's good understanding. That's bad understanding. That is partial understanding. That's absolute understanding. So good understanding, total understanding brings favor. And you know the import of favor? Every favored man is a blessed man. Psalm chapter 5, verse 12. For the Lord shall bless the righteous out with favor with compassion like a shield. What does favor do? Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 23. It says, O oh, Naphtali, be satisfied with favor. And full with the blessing of the Lord, for said that the west and the south. So your blessing is embedded in God's word, but it is discovered 
and understood by you, knowing what to do to get them actualized and delivered unto you, then you keep on struggling and suffering. But today, as another level of understanding comes away on the area or in the area of revival, I see us maximizing the potency of God's word in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Understanding is the hallmark of supernatural accomplishments. Understanding makes you to live an outstanding life. I also make you to have outstanding results. A S T O U N D I N. Outstanding. I live an outstanding. O U T and standing in life. From today, you'll never go down again. Amen. Now, what does revival offer us? We have a writer called Murray, M-U-W, M-U-R-R-A-Y, M-U-R-R-A-Y says, revival means making alive again those who have been alive but have fallen into what is called a cold or dead state. Make it alive again. Those that used to be vibrant in our context. Those that used to be vibrant for the Lord. Those that used to love God but have gone cold, lukewarm. They have become complacent. They have become wearied. They have become tired of loving God, of serving God. So in the course of the Bible, such people are quickened, rejuvenated, resuscitated, brought back to their original state and status of loving, serving, working with God, and pleasing God. That's what revival is all about. We also have another writer, J.I. Parker, P-A-C-K-E-R. He said revival is God's quickening visitation of his people. God's quickening visitation of his people, touching their hearts and deepening his work of grace in their lives. Quickening their hearts and deepening the work of grace in their lives. That is revival. In our context for today, we've gotten diverse testimonies of what a revival is. What is a revival? A revival is a move of the Spirit of God across the people of all age groups culminating in diverse supernatural turnarounds. Remember, revival is God in the midst of of his people. God in the midst of his people. Now we have that documented in the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 3. The Bible says from verse 2. Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 2. Saying, Oh Lord, I have heard thy speech. And I was afraid. Oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make no in wrath, remember mercy. The midst of the year, the months of June and July, are God ordained season of divine visitation for his children. Said, Oh God, come in the midst of the year to revive your work. What? What manner of work? In John chapter 4, verse 34, Christ Jesus said, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Hmm? I said, What man of work? 35. He said, Look up. Can't you see that the abyss is white already? No more procrastination. No. He said, Look up. The abyss is white. Go and have it. Do not say it. The next four months and abyss will come. Abyss is here. Go get. People harvested to my kingdom. And the question was asked, okay, if I engage in this harvest, what do I stand to gain? And he said, in verse 36, he said, he that repeat received wages and gathered food unto eternal life. Come on. So, every child of God is ordained a reaper of souls. You are a Jehovah witness. Because Christ said in John chapter 20, verse 21, as the Father has sent me, so said I you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 to 20, we read that also verse in Christ is a new creature, all things have passed, all things have come new. And just the same way that Christ Jesus, at the ministry of reconciliation, he has given unto us the word of reconciliation because we are ambassadors for Christ. 
An ambassador is the official representative of his country in another nation. So every is our nation of nativity. Every child of God is a kingdom diplomat. You are a kingdom ambassador. And our mandate is to pronounce, project, and advance the interests of God on the planet Earth. That was why when Christ was teaching us on how to pray in Matthew uh, chapter 6 from verse 6, he said, this is how to pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Thy kingdom come. That is to say, whatever is obtainable in heaven, we want to see it made manifest through us on this planet Earth. So wherever you are, you are there to represent God. Any position you find yourself, you are there to represent God bodily. God is counting on us. None of us will fail God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What is God's work? Because Christ said in John chapter 5 verse 17, say, my father worketh, either to I must work. What kind of work? Mm. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack or sign his promises, as some, some men can't slackness, but is long suffering towards one, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. To God's work, it will see every living soul come to repentance. In First Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. God who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Psalm 74 verse 12 says, For God is my king of hold, working salvation in the midst of the earth. So God's work is to work salvation. John 3 16, For God so loved the world, gave us only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is the work. As a child of God, we have the same mandate. John chapter 15, verse 16. Say, for ye have not chosen, but I have chosen you. And I forbid you to go and bring fruits. And as your fruits abide, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Access to answers to prayers. Access to dominion. To to Come on. It's my assignment. It's your assignment. We have no choice. Your relevance in this kingdom is determined by your contributions to the advancement of God's kingdom. Now, we're in our season of revival now. Everybody is going out there to do something for Christ. And this move is ending on July 30th. When the rewarder call will come. So when it comes, what will he find you with? Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. Say, behold, I come quickly with my rewards in my hand to give unto every man according as their work shall be. It is your work that determines your what. Your what determines your Lord. Come on. First Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 to 10. It says, I poor planted a full, a full of water, but God gave the increase. Say, so neither either plant anything, neither either water, but God that give the increase. Verse 8. He said, Now either plant and either water and one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. You labor less, you are less reward. You labor more, you are more reward. So your reward is determined by your own involvement. Involvement. Investment is what generates dividends and returns. You invest nothing. You get nothing. That is what life is all about. Garbage in, garbage out. It is your input that determines your output. You put in nothing, you get nothing. There's no free lunch in life. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Now I love what Paul said. He said, as you have always obeyed my absence. Say, now I give you another commandment. That you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Look at verse 13. He said, because it is God that walketh in us, both to will and to good, do his good pleasure. But everything that we are part of in life is determined by, by, determined by our choice. Your choices. So zeal for God, zest for God, commitment towards the advancement of God's kingdom is non-negotiable if destiny must be fulfilled. You have not forgotten that. 
Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. They that be wise shall shine at the presence of the firmament. And they that told many unto righteousness as the stars forever and ever. To shine means to be distinguished. To have your relevance profound and pronounced. That is what it means. So my beloved, don't forget the ongoing prayer reads. Eight to nine every morning. We pray and we step out. Five to six every day. We pray and we step out. In this season, God's glory will show forth in your life. Amen. You should shout a louder amen to that. Amen. Make it a louder amen. amen. Raise the right hand and shout a louder amen. amen. So a revival is a move of the Spirit of God across the people of all ages. Culminating in diverse supernatural turnarounds. All ages, boys and girls, interested in launching out, advancing God's kingdom. When that begins to happen, revival has of souls. Go to the Sunday school now. Go to the teenagers, you, the youth chapter now. You see multitudes of them there. No one has any tangible, exclusive excuse. <laughs> Not to be part of this. You are an elder, you are an aged person. As long as you are still alive, you have a place in this ongoing revival. At least you can pray. Any mouth that can eat, that can talk, can pray. If you can't pray aloud, you can pray as silent in your heart. No excuse. And for those who are vibrant, what are we doing? We step out. We launch out. We launch out. My team and I have 10 people that work with me to the glory of God. Between January and now, God has given us 5,000, I will get it. Wait for me. And I will get it. Don't worry. Give God a big gun. <laughs> now, I believe in details. Now, total number of contacts for my team, David Pokola Atrix team, is 54,163 between January and now. That is, my team have spoken to people one on one. 54,163 people received Jesus. I said, Jesus, come to church. Now, to the glory of God. Out of that, God has given us 4,519 souls saved. Saved as at Friday. Now, those that have come to this church through us, over 3,000 people between January and now. You are not clapping for me. You are clapping for Jesus. No. Like the shepherd, like the sheep. So, you no know, one has any excuse. We go out twice every day. We go out in the morning. We pray from 8 to 9. And go out as a team in the morning. Return by 1.30. We return to make follow-up phone call to our converse of the day. And by 3.30 we go out again for the evening read as a team. Why won't God like me? God likes me. I don't know whether you like me, but God likes me. Do you like me? You better like me. <laughs> the truth is this. Before the end of this season, everyone's story will change. In Joel chapter 2, verses 28 to 29. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Also upon the servants and upon the animals in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heaven above and in the earth. Now, you see that now? Upon everyone. So everyone is a candidate for empowerment in this season of revival. Open your heart. Be thirsty. Be a God chaser. Live for God. Be ready to do something for God. Be ready for God. Use every available opportunity to talk about the love of Christ. 
You're a Jehovah witness. You're a man catcher. You're a fisher of men. Don't in any way forsake God's grace. Somebody is waiting for you, for a word from you to get him out of the claws of Satan. We are not just populating the church. We are rescue agents. Obadiah verse 21. We are saviors from Zion. Let us be up and doing. Let every slack hand be lifted up. Let everyone rise again. The clarion call is this. People are suffering. People are dying. People are sick. People are oppressed. People are tormented. Let compassion grip you. Let passion for their emancipation well up in your heart. Let their rescue be a concern to you. Jesus has saved you. See how gorgeous you are, handsome you are, beautiful you are, seated here. As we are here now, there are people looking for power where right? there's no power. Entering to bushes and corners and places, looking for power where power has never been domiciled. It is in Zion that we go from strength to strength. Is it not a glorious thing to be here in God's house? There are people there at the value of decisions, not knowing what to do. Let us help them after their predicament. Your family will never suffer devastation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15, say, Nothing will work. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness shall become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be counted a forest. So this change, when the Holy Ghost comes upon people, but how do we get there? Isaiah chapter 44, verses 3 to 5, saying, For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. So there is a need for a, for a craving, a thirst in your heart. I will pour water upon the thirsty and floss upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your seed and my blessing upon your children. Come on. So it is the outpouring of his spirit upon us that generates the blessings of his in our lives. Come on. Nothing works without the ministry and the manifestation of the ministry of the Holy Ghost in our lives. So we need the help of the Holy Ghost to teach us, to lead us, to guide us, to insult us, and to guide us. We need him. But there must be a task in your heart. Psalm 63. Oh Lord my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. To see your power and your glory as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. We are in the days of his power. Psalm 110, verses 1 and 2. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies their footstool. For the Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion, so that you can rule in the midst of your enemies. And verse 3, he said there, What will happen? The people shall be willing in the day of his power. We are in the day of his power. That is why we are in the season of his glory. God's glory is a demonstration of the manifestation of God's power in the life of his people. And the midst of the earth is the midst of his glory. And in Psalm 102, verse 16, it says, When the Lord shall build up Zion, it will appear in his glory. So we are here to be built. We are here to be built up. We are here to be strengthened. We are here to be empowered. You will not miss your place in this revival. Yeah. Everyone has a place in this revival. If time is not there, energy is not there, your resources is there. The resources is there. Thank you, Jesus. So, encourage your husband, your wife, your children, your siblings, your parents, even your enemies, your housemates, your chef, your subordinates, your superior officer, your staff, everyone around you, encourage them to be part of this move. In my family, everyone in my family is a Jehovah witness. Ah, uh, oh, get any? Hey, get here. Everybody has got their own list of new converts. And they do bumper to bumper follow up. They must be established in church. Because our destiny is connected to that. You will not miss out in the name of Jesus Christ. What else is a revival? A revival is a move of the Spirit of God that unleashes the spirit of prayer and supplication upon God's people. 
a move of the Spirit of God that unleashes the Spirit of prayer and supplication upon God's people. That is what revival is. That is to say, in the midst of revival, people get excited praying to God. Everybody wants to pray. Come on. In Luke chapter 18, verse 1, it says, Men ought to pray always without fainting. People are interested in coming to church, going to home same meetings to pray at night, in the daytime, in the office, while driving, because revival has hit the land. That is why we can pray for the spirit of grace and of supplication. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10, and I will pour upon the house of David, upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplication. It is available. And you know, prayer changes things, and it changes people. It changes mentality. It damages the works of the devil. It empowers for victory and dominion. Christ went to pray and fast for 40 days and 40 nights. Luke chapter 4, in verse 14, he returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. So prayer and fasting empowers. And a powerful believer is an asset to the kingdom. Come on. Come on. You pray, you understand, pray the Holy Ghost. Because every praying church is a growing church. And every growing church is a praying church. If the church must keep on growing, we have to learn to pray Number one, for souls to be saved, our pastors to be anointed, miracles to happen, healings to take place, and the captives to be delivered from the hand of their captors. The gospel to have access to the heart of people. Come on. There's a place for everyone. There's this no revival. Zechariah chapter 8, from verse 20. Thus said the Lord of hosts, it shall yet come to pass, that there shall come people and the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another and say, let us go speedily, speedily to pray before the Lord, and to see the Lord of hosts, and we go also. Yea, many people and strong nations shall come and seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord, and what will happen. Thus said the Lord of hosts, as they pray in those days, it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of all nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, we will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. We have heard that God is with you. And First Timothy chapter 2, verse 8, and with that word that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands, without wrath and doubting. Come on. Prayer. So, if you say yourself, exhibiting the spirit of grace and supplication, revival has entered into your life. Yes. Not this uh, plus God minus the devil. No. Not the one you lay or uh, knee by your best side. My heavenly father! Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You are awake! You know, when God asked me to start praying for those Believe God for the blessing of the fruit of the womb and those that want to get married. How am I going to do it? I have to be on my feet for one hour minimum. Praying, groaning, oh God, they must be visited. Between, within the last three weeks, we've got six testimonies. Those that have shared their home. Come on. Like white fire. Come on. God is not a liar. No. Oh, to him that heareth prayers. Shall we come? Psalm 65, verse 2. And first John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. If we pray according to his will, he will hear us and answer us. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Because the more the church advances, the more the saints are glorified. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. You want to see his glory? Advance his kingdom. Now. How do I know that the Bible has occurred? Number one, when praying kingdom advancement prayers becomes a delight. When praying kingdom advancement prayer becomes a delight, you are just excited. You are ready to pray. Then revival has occurred. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. And fill it out. In Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6, verse 6 says, When thou prayest. So it is part of what we should do. Verses 17 and 18. When thou fastest, when thou prayest, when thou fastest, when thou pray, when thou fastest. So when praying kingdom advancement prayers becomes a thing of joy, you are willing.
to pray fervently, effectually, consistently, committedly, dedicatedly, all the time, then revival has eat you. But if you now find it difficult to pray, something is wrong, you have to pray to go, revive me. Lord, please revive me. Revive my prayer life. Revive my spiritual life. We need that. What is good needs prayer for maintenance and sustenance. What is not good needs prayer for resuscitation, for transformation, for a change, for repairs, for perfection. We all need prayers. Our God will answer your prayers. Amen. How do I know when revival has occurred? Number two, when one is consumed with undying passion to see souls saved. When you are consumed with the undying passion to see souls saved. Look at Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me to preach the gospel. Yea, what is unto me if I do not preach the gospel? What? What? And Romans 1, 16 says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? It's the power of God to salvation. Well, I've been to places, <laughs> I told you before, I go to a place, the den of smokers and drug addicts. I just found myself there. And I entered to their midst. They were doing the thing. <sighs> In my life, I've never tasted alcohol. I've never smoked cigarettes. But I got into their midst. What is that? <laughs> what are you doing? By the time I stood for five minutes, the Holy Ghost arrested them. And I spoke the word of life. No! I didn't condemn them. I didn't talk about what they were doing. I just faced my own business. That is their ministry. I come to my own ministry. <laughs> of them gave their lives to Christ and they started coming to church. No. We are not out with the ministry of condemnation. We are out with the ministry of salvation. Let them come first. You don't go to a brother and be saying, all of you will go to they're already in hell. <laughs> we are already in hell. Tell them what you have. They are showing you what they have. Show them what you have. That's how to do it. As we close. What is a, a revival for us? Number one, the life of every engaging believer is transformed in a revival. I shared with you the testimony of a brother who went to visit his convert at the hospital, paid the bills, could not finish, someone, someone else helped him to do that, and uh, that person became a winner, and uh, one day, the same week, his brother from a uh, Abuja called him, said, oh boy, what are you? I have a car for you. Give me a car. And I asked, it was, he said, there's also a three-bedroom house for you in Abuja. The same day, a house and a car, free of charge. You know, there is nothing God cannot do. We have testimonies here, upper testimonies. Now, read those testimonies, believe them, meditate on them. Now, Sister Delight, that got married here at age 52. Now, please, to clarify it. Sister Delight has never been married in her life, and she has no child. She has never kept any serious relationship. Until God intervened, she got married at age 52 in this church to a man from the United Kingdom whom they lost contact 30 years ago. What was her secret? This young lady will always come to my office. One, to receive grace, to go do the work of God. All of you know her. Everywhere. Zealous for the Lord. There is nothing you do for God that will not be rewarded by him. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. So, uh, the life of every engaged believer will always change. We have read that in Zechariah chapter 8, verses 20 to 23. As we do so, lives are transformed. Number two, every move of the Spirit of God confers dominion on every engaging believer. Every move of God confers dominion. You want dominion over sickness, over fear, over death, over indebtedness, over lack, over the devil? Be on the go for Christ. Because as they went from one nation to another, walking out to another, he so far do not want to do that. He put his and said, touch not my nothing. Do my voice wrong. Psalm 105, verses 13 to 15. In Luke chapter 10, 
When he called and said it, he gave them power against unclean spirit. Verse 17, they returned with joy. No one was missing. Why? Verse 19, he said, where you were going, I gave unto you power. To turn upon service and scorpions. Oh, what was that was why nothing could harm you. In Mark chapter 15, Mark 16, verse 15, Mark 16, 15 said, Go now into all the world and preach the gospel unto all every creature. Now, verse 16, he said, If that believer is baptized, shall be baptized and shall be saved. But if that believer not shall be damned. And these signs are flowing that believe and that are on the go. In my name, they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. They start to cause something. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Stop being afraid. They will lay down for this and they shall be healed. I've seen all men of miracles by my hand to the glory of God because I'm always on the go. Grace to be on the go receive now. In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30, it says, The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. He that winneth souls is wise. He that winneth souls is wise. What will that do for us? Daniel 12, 3. They that be wise shall shine. They will overcome their challenges. At the price of the family, I did that torment to Christ at the stars forever. What will wisdom do for you? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 15. By wisdom, king strength. Our prince decree judges justice. Even wealth and riches are product of wisdom. So believe God to be part of this move and grace received in the name of Jesus Christ. And when this wisdom comes upon you, it will show in all the departments of your life. Every assignment in your hand will prosper because wisdom is knowing what to do and doing it. Knowing where to go and go in there. Knowing what to say and saying it. From today, you will never lack God's wisdom. What else? Three. Our needs are supernaturally met in a revival. Luke chapter 2 verse 35. So when I said to you, with that script of Paul, did you lack anything? They lack nothing. No. It is your source that determines your resources. So the more you are connected to God, the more he furnishes your life with abundance of blessing. See this commission now. The heart is going on. Nobody is feeling it. Because we are all out for the advancement of God's kingdom. Everything is working. From today, nothing fails in your hand. Nothing dies in your hand. You will not labor in vain. You will live long. So my final submission is this. Beloved, be ye steadfast. Be ye steadfast, unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, give me grace to love and serve you. Lift, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Lord, I receive grace to love you more, to serve you more, to please you more, to do your will. I receive that grace from you. I receive that grace. Lord, help me in this move. Make me, oh Lord, to be dedicated, to be relevant, to be committed. Holy Ghost, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we shut down in this service, being our covenant day of marital breakthroughs, Please understand the following quickly, that every challenged marital destiny, like marital delay, marital crisis, are mostly raw oppressions of the devil. And most of the times, the victims don't understand. How can you be beautiful, be handsome, you have a good job, you are doing well, but cannot get married? Disappointments upon disappointment, marital delay, marital disappointment. Even though that are married, they have crisis in their homes. But today, every marital crisis in your lives shall be totally destroyed. Yeah. Every manipulation of hell against your marital destiny shall be destroyed today. Yeah. Remember that every child of God that desires to be married has the God-given heritage to be settled in marriage. Why? Marriage is good. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. It is no good for a man or a woman to be alone. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. Two are better than one. Psalm 68 verse 6. God sets the solitary in families and in bring those which are bound with chains but the will not dwell in the dry land. It is the will of God for you to be married. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. No one shall want their mate. No one shall want their mate. No one shall want their mate. So it is God's will for you to be married, but you need favor. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. Whosoever findeth a wife or is found as a wife, findeth a good and has obtained favor. So it is not beauty, it is favor. 
Let favor come. It is not car. It is not houses. It is not police. It is favor that makes for supernatural marital settlement. And that favor receive now. Yeah. Everyone ready for marital settlement? This is your year. Because yeah. marriage is good. And because it is good, every good thing in Christ is your entitlement. Psalm 34, verse 10. The children of liars do lack and suffer, God, but they that seek the shall never lack any good thing. Any good thing. Psalm 84, verse 11. God is a son and shield. He will give us grace and glory, and no good thing will be told from us. Marriage is good. Receive yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive yours in the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone that is married, God will keep your home for you. God will keep your home for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In case you have storms, challenges, tribulations in your home, let me show you the way out. In case you were married the wrong way, you didn't follow the due process of uh, uh, paying bride price, going to the registry, coming to church to be joined together, you just met and things, and you become, became pregnant, and you started uh, producing children. No problem. But the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, that marriage is honorable when the bed is not defined. Say, one more I mean, I don't trust God with George. For the case God with George. In case you got married in an unholy way, sorry for that. Please forgive yourself. Forget the past. Stop living the past. Just tell yourself the time of ignorance is gone. Are you hearing me now? You can't marry twice. Now that you have made a mistake, ask God for forgiveness and live your life as if it never happened that way. God is a God of mercy. But for those that are not yet married, do it well. Read books on marriage. Do it well. And God will make it to be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. So everyone that is going through marital challenges, seek for light. Read another books on marriage. Go for counseling. Your husband is not your enemy. Your wife is not your enemy. You are help me. Don't allow the devil to sit on your family and torment you with, with uh, all manner of anxiety, disaffection, disunity, avarice, strife, and tension. No. But for every family that is under tension, I command peace now. I command peace now. I command peace now. I come at peace now. I come at peace now. Finally, we must understand that husbands and wives are ordained to live together. As one. Mark 10, 12. Whatever God has joined together, let no man put us on them. Say, uh, what's man? Whatever God has joined together, let no man put us on there. This vogue of husband in Nigeria Wife and children in Canada is anti-scriptural. Don't kick against the will of God. If your family cannot relocate, stay here. Nigeria is good. Your wife is in the United Kingdom and you are the United Asaba. It doesn't work like that. All manner of temptation. No, we trust each other. It's a lie. It's a lie. No single parent can successfully raise godly children. No single parent can successfully raise godly children. No single parent can successfully raise godly children. Let's not deceive ourselves. You are, are you enjoying it? No. They now cook for you for three months. Put in the freezer. You are now warming food. You are not eating fresh food. I said, Mama, put. You are not a man chiller. <laughs> Come back home. If all of you are not relocating, stay here. Your blessings are here. Let me allow you to go and stand on your feet. <laughs> Give God a big hand of praise. If you want to shout, shout hallelujah. Shout a living hallelujah. I 
pray that God will bless your homes. Amen. God will bless your families. Amen. God will preserve your families. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, train your children in the way of the Lord. Upon the covenant of marriage, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 28. Wives, submit unto your husband and unto the Lord. Husbands, love your wife. If there be any crisis, learn to resolve it prayerfully. All this confrontation that you call uh, communication. Let the mood of this man before you talk to you, your husband. However bad the man is, he can be rehabilitated by God. Go on your knees. Be a prayerful woman. Be a prayerful woman. All this Tom and Jerry life is not of God. Okay, when are you going to enjoy your life? You are going old on, on daily basis. Life is not a drama that you have to rehearse before you act. There is no rehearsal. You are already acting. You are already acting. No rehearsal. No dress rehearsal. No voice rehearsal. No. You are already acting. But your family will not collapse. Yeah. If there be any agent of the devil that want to make your family to collapse, they are caused in the name of Jesus Christ. Any strange woman, any strange girl that want to collect your husband from you, they are judged in the name of Jesus Christ. I trust the woman. <laughs> Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> okay. Now, you know the secret. Whatever turns you on in another woman, put it to your wife. If it is tosses, buy her plenty. If you don't have money, give her your home. If it's too long, cut it. If the hair is short, wear a wig. If your wife is short, buy a heel. But how means if She's dark in complexion. You know what to do. <laughs> Give God a shout of hallelujah. Okay, wave your hands to God and say, Lord, bless my family, bless my home. Bless my family, bless my home. Lord, bless my family, bless my home with peace, with joy, with favor, with long life, with prosperity. Bless my family, bless my home, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to be placing prophetic blessing upon every family. Say, so, Hosea 12, 13, by prophet, he brought them out of Egypt, by prophet, he preserved them. Now, first of all, I want everyone by your head. You are in this service today. You want Jesus Christ to bring down his glory upon your life. You are tired of shame, of reproach, nightmares, failure, Neosocial syndrome, stagnation, sicknesses, marital delay, barrenness. You are tired of satanic oppression and you want to be free today. Your freedom is in Christ Jesus. And say, so he might be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. He can never partake of freedom. Because God sent him to set us free from all the oppressions of the devil. He said, Come to me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I give rest. God, Lord, they give his begun son. Whoso I believe to not perish. So you are here this morning. want to deliberately hand over your life and destiny unto Jesus Christ to save your soul and bring God his glory upon your life and take away your shame. I want to pray for you. Oh, you are here. You are becoming to church, but things are not working as expected. You are just struggling and you know it. You can't sleep a one of dreams. You know that things are not working. And you want this to work. So you want to rededicate your life unto Christ and start your life on another slate, clean slate, a new list of life. That's what you want. Whenever I pray, God answers me. Whenever you want to pray for you now, just lift up your hand above your head and just wave the hand. Just wave the hand. Wave it. Wave it. I want to go free. Wave it. I want to go free. Wave it. I want to go free. I want to wave, go free. Just wave it. Wave it. Now, I want to today, this boldest step of faith, come over to the altar area. I want to pray with you. Carry your Bible and Bible. Come over. Just come over here. Come over here. Come on. Carry your Bible and Bible. Come over to the altar area. Now, let's call for Jesus as they are coming. Make it very far. Run, 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 run. Walk into your liberty. I want to be free. Jesus set me free. From the gallery, from the gallery, from outside. Open the door for them. Come quickly. Let's call for Jesus. They are coming from everywhere. People coming for Jesus. They are coming. They are coming from everywhere. They are coming. 
Oh, it's another day of Pentecost. Another day of Pentecost and live in church here. Keep on coming. I'm going to pray for you now. Jesus will save you. Jesus will heal you. Jesus will set you free. Jesus will deliver you. Let's keep on coming. They are still coming. They are still coming. They are still coming. They are still coming. Make up your mind. I want to be free. Jesus set me free. I want to be married. I want to be fruitful. Set me free. Jesus set me free. Keep on coming. 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 Don't be, don't be ashamed. Keep on coming. Don't wait for anyone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, keep on coming. Thank you, Lord. Now, those of us in front, I know that are coming. Okay, you are coming. Come quickly. Come on, General. Lift up your right hand. Peace. Peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, lift up your right hand, everyone. Those that are coming. Now, let us pray together and say, Lord Jesus Christ. Make it loud. Lord Jesus Christ. I am a sinner. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Forgive me all my sins. Make me a child of God. And write my name in the book of life. Today, I receive Jesus Christ. And I accept him as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe that Jesus Christ, Son of God, came from heaven and died for me. He shed his blood on the cross of Calvary for my redemption. On the third day, he rose from the dead to justify me as my Lord and personal Savior. Son of God, save me and I will serve you forever. Amen. Now by your confession, your sins are remitted and forgiven you. I cover you by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are saved. Grace to abide in joy in this kingdom and the for life serving God. Receive it now. You are free from oppression. Your destinies are preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Congratulations. Now one of our pastors is waiting for you there. Please turn for the pastor. Now everyone, stretch your hand toward this altar. Stretch your hand toward this altar. Now I stand in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I stand as a son of prophet David Olani Oedepo. I stand as a saint one. For everyone that is sound of my voice, you shall fulfill your marital destiny. <laughs> every generational cause, every satanic attack, every oppression of the devil in your families be subdued for you now. <laughs> every family represented here that is passing through crisis, misunderstanding all manner of strife today I command peace to begin to reign in your families Amen. every seed of discord disaffection misunderstanding planted by the devil into your heart and of your spouse and of your own children be uprooted now Amen. every broken home I command the spirit of forgiveness for reconciliation to manifest in your family now. Amen. Every home that is about being torn apart by the devil, I command peace be still. Amen. Whatever you need in your family to enjoy life, to have peace, divine health, miracle children, your children to do well, financial resources, miracle job, promotion, peace of mind, Whatever you need to enjoy a blissful marital life, receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, be restored now. Yeah. As many that are here that are married, believe in God for miracle children. We have testimonies. 35 years, 28 years, 15 years, God bless the children. Within three weeks, we have six testimonies already. Every family, believe in God for miracle children. Receive your miracle children now. In this midst of the year, in the sixth month, many conceived. In this sixth month, enjoy the joy of spiritual conception. No more miscarriages. No more still bad. Receive your miracle babies. As many that are here for marriage, marriage is good. It's the one that has said the solitary families. Every cause, every enchantment and divination, working against your marital settlement is hereby destroyed. Amen. Favor Amen. for marital settlement Amen. this year. Receive now! Amen. Receive now! Amen. Receive now! Amen. Receive now! Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever date you have jotted down for your traditional wedding or church wedding, oh, we come to pass this year. Amen. 
Whatever you need to be married, financial resources, miracle job, promotion, car, Aslan, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all the children in the church. For the seeds of the righteous shall be mighty. None of our children shall go wayward. Every child God has given to us shall do well. They shall be better than us. No parent will bury none of their children. No parent will bury none of their children. Every child that is wayward, misbehaving, I command the hand of God to revive them now. Amen. To restore their destinies now. Amen. So in the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son Jesus Christ, Amen. and of the Holy Ghost, every family here is declared blessed. Amen. And that shall be forever. Amen. Husbands and wives shall live long together. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. it is done. Did you receive your blessing? Wave your hands to God and give him thanks. Thank you, Lord. Give him a big hand. Please take your seats. Okay, few minutes, we are shutting down. In case today is your first day service in Lefe Church, you are here. I want to pray with you. You are here for the first on a Sunday morning. Quickly carry your belongings. Come to the altar area for pastoral blessing. If today is your first day service in Lefe Church, you are here. Also, in case you came in late, we are here to give your tithes and offerings. Lift up your tithes and offerings, whatever you are. Lord, receive from them and reward them in Jesus' name. Keep your hands up so that see what can see you. Collect your tithes and offering. If you are doing money transfer, tell the screen for the bank test. Good news, everyone. Our daily gospel race will be audited throughout this week again, Monday to Saturday. Eight to nine, the money we pray. After that, we go out. Five to six in the evening, we pray. We also go out. But from your locations and offices, you can step out from there with materials. We have a lot of materials in the office. Come and pick as many as you want to. You can give out. Make sure they are given out. Also keep out giving phone calls, messages to your converts to be here. And another good news. Our corner prayer meetings will be running Monday to Saturday also, 6 o'clock in the morning. Make sure you're here. And tomorrow will be the first working day of the week. We have a special petition for the week. Another good news. On Wednesday, we are going to be fasting, and by 5 p.m., we are returning here for our Clarny Holy Communion Service. It is the last Holy Communion Service in the month of June. It's called Clarny Holy Communion Service on Wednesday. Come and receive the balance of your blessing for the month and the first half of the year in the name of Jesus Christ. On Saturday, home set. On Saturday, it's 5 p.m. And very good news. I said very good news. Saturday is the first day in the month of July. So early in the morning, 6 o'clock, we are returning for the trumpet service on Saturday morning. Make sure you are here. Another good news. Make it bigger, bigger, bigger for Jesus. Louder, louder for Jesus. Next Sunday is Encounter with Destiny service. Encounter with Destiny service. Make sure you are here with your family members and your converts and your destiny shall be preserved. In the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, thank you so much for coming to Live Church here today. I'm happy having you here. This Live Church here, where God does amazing things. We have this testimony. You cannot be here for three consecutive months without a change your story. Your story shall start changing from today. I love you and I welcome you. Welcome to your father's house. My phone number will be given to you. You can talk to me at any time. You have any need, come to the church office. We are always there for you. Once again, God bless you. We love you. Welcome to your father's house. It shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Next Sunday is Encounter with Destiny Service. Make sure you are here with us, with your family members. It shall be another great time for you in Jesus' mighty name. Today, we have some gifts for you. And one of our pastors is there. Follow that pastor. Collect your gift from him before you go back home. Just make a turn. Follow that pastor to collect your gift. Hallelujah. Everybody, jump on your feet now. Shout, I am blessed. My family is blessed. The works of my hands are blessed. Wave your hands to God and thank you for the blessing of today. What a day. Lero Shagatalaba. Now go in peace. Amen. Your movement throughout this week is declared safe. Amen. You and your family are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. Before the end of this month of Friday, your own crown blessing shall be delivered unto you. Amen. This week, your family will experience amazing financial fortune. Amen. Every penny payment shall be released. Amen. Go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we share the goodness together? Surely. 
God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Follow the covenant area of life. Congratulations. Tell your neighbor, your family is blessed forever. Congratulations. Your family is blessed forever. Congratulations. Your family is blessed forever. Congratulations. Yes, God, oh, now.